So needless to say, we went back and had a bit of a look at what had happened to date. Uh, and in fact, one of the first things I found was a very useful article from Context uh, from 1994, uh, which uh, had uh, taken an attempt to do some analysis on how much local lists had been adopted, uh, were being maintained, were being created by local authorities in this was in 94. Um, and um, coming up with a pretty mixed picture of um, uh, some adoption, but still a, a relatively small uh, percentage and uh, a, quite a wide variety of approaches and um, uh, a wide, uh, not always sort of consistent approach of criteria for local listing, um, all of which is still in many ways uh, quite familiar. And um, Historic England then also did a bit of uh, study last year to just quickly map um, the relative take up across the regions uh, of local lists. And you can see on the, on the map, the, the dark colored um, areas are authorities that do have a, a local list, the light ones are, do not. Um, you can see there's quite a bias towards London, possibly partly because of uh, historic pressures of development in historic districts. Um, and um, but also you will see that there were very large areas of important um, territories across the country with no apparent uh, use of local lists uh, at all. Um, and you particularly notice the gaps in the northwest, northeast, and southwest 